Okay, for those of you that use SenseShare, this is going to be a how-to video on how to connect um, your group to SenseShare. And this is specifically also with a little added tip if your group is on your business page. So first off, we have to go and we have to actually add um, the app to the page. This allows SenseShare to um, have access to the group and you personally. So we're going to edit the group settings and we are going to go right here where it says add apps. Now this is not a feature that you have on your phone. This is definitely something that you need to do on a laptop or computer. And this generally does take a little bit to load. This spins a little bit for me almost always right here. And then it's going to spin again once we find the app. I'm not sure what the reasoning is there, but it does. So be patient. It seems to be pretty common for me. It doesn't matter what laptop I use, what internet I'm on, it always seems to happen. And I always just have to have my patience. <laughs> Boy, this one seems like it's taking longer than normal, but of course that's probably because I'm impatient. Okay, so then you are going to type in here, cinch share, as you start to type that, oops, it will pop up. You're going to click on it, you're going to say yes, you want to add, and again, oh, just like that, it is added. So that is step number one. Now, if this is just a group for you and if this group is not on your business page, then you should be good to go. But because this is on, not just on my business page, this is also on, I need to be able to scroll down and for some reason it's not showing me. Okay, hopefully we're okay. Um, it, it, for me, this is on my business page and so it is, um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to check that that actually saved because it didn't show me wasn't letting me scroll down. But because this is on my business page, I have to actually make myself, oh, it's there, it's saved. So we'll go down and we'll just make sure. Um, I have to make myself an admin. So this is another step um, that is key. So we're gonna go up here where it says interacting as Danielle Johnson. Um, you're gonna see this is gonna allow me to join the group. I also, instead of doing it this way, could just add myself to the group. So whatever you want to do to get yourself in the group, because right now if it's connected to your business page, it's just you. So I'm going to go ahead and click join group. It's just an easy way. Oops, somehow we got out of there. Let's go back. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Okay. Bear with me for a minute. Somehow I clicked out of the group. Okay, now we're back in the group. We're going to go to the members. You're now going to see I am a member, but I'm not an admin or a moderator. And that is important for me to be an admin, for me to be able to actually, oh, so here's the click, here's the trick. I'm interacting as myself. I have to actually change that. It's important that you are not, I cannot make myself an admin when I'm interacting as myself for some reason. So I do have to make sure that I'm interacting as the page. This is perfect because I'm showing you guys some troubleshooting things here if you get caught up. And then now you can see it is just showing me that I am a member, I'm not an admin or a moderator. And it's important for SenseShare that I am an admin. So I'm going to invite myself to be an admin. Now, sometimes it takes a minute, but we're gonna go here and you're gonna see that um, my, my business page invited me to be an admin. I generally have to click something to accept it. So let's see. Sometimes another troubleshooting thing for this area is that I have to actually accept the invite from my um, from my Facebook, from my phone. Yes, for some reason, I think it's because the two are connected. So I'm actually going to go to my phone and see if I got the invite and I'm going to accept it. Um, 
<laughs> and it's being difficult. So give me just a second. So here's the troubleshooting. This is fine because I'm showing you a troubleshooting. So what we're going to do now is we are going to actually cancel that invite. And I have to do this sometimes. It's very often that I have to actually it's invite and accept the invite on my phone. So I'm really actually glad that I'm showing you how to troubleshoot because in case you run into any of these problems, you will now know. So we're gonna make an admin again. We're gonna send the invite again. This time, I know you cannot see me, but I'm gonna get that same notification on my phone app that I saw for you guys. And I do have now, it says it accept invite to become a group, group admin and I can accept or decline. I'm going to accept. We will now, um, go out and in of this. I cannot hit the refresh while I'm recording. So we will go back to the members and hopefully you will now see I am successful at being an admin. Perfect. So now we're going to head over to SenseShare. Looks like I'm not actually logged in. Sorry. We'll take just a minute. And I'm going to show you how it hopefully has connected my group. So you're going to click um, over here on my networks. You're going to refresh. It's very important that you hit refresh. It will not automatically come up. This again, depending on how many groups you have, I have lots. Um, this can take a few minutes as well as it tells you, um, depending on how many groups and albums that you have on pages and different things that you're associated with. And as you can see, I have a bajillion. And for me, if you were in, if if yours was a regular group, it's going to show up here. For me, this is connected to my business page, so I have to scroll down to where my business page is, and I have to click on it. I then will be able to see the albums and the groups connected to my page. Here are the groups, and we called that one. It started with a 31, 31 Fall Fun Boutique Battle Party. If I click on this heart, it will then show up when I go to make my posts. So if I go here, you're now going to see here is where, oh, down underneath, it's underneath my business page. So I do have to click here and you're going to see I can now post to that group. So I hope this helps. Again, hopefully this shows you both as a business page group and a regular group how to connect, since share, and be able to post.